Hi everyone, Pam Souter here, your Chief Networking Officer with It Works Global. Welcome to our Show Me The Money Zoom. I'm so thrilled to be on today. We have our newest presidential diamonds with us today. They each earned a $100,000 good bonus, but most importantly, they took their teams all the way to presidential diamond. So we're going to start with Jennifer, and she's got a little bonus with us today. Jennifer, <laughs> hello. Hi. So Jennifer, uh, introduce us to your daughter. Well, this is Reagan. Can you say hi? Hi, Reagan. Hi, Reagan. Hi, <laughs> Reagan. You're just so cute. All right, so Jennifer, you're working from home, and yeah. obviously. So tell us who you are and where you're from and how long you've been with It Works. I am Jen Burklow. I'm from a tiny little town called Rushville, Indiana. And April 30th was my third anniversary with It Works. Okay, so what were you doing in the small town before It Works? Well, I was, um, well, right before It Works, I was flat broke in my little town. Um, I had been a NICU nurse for six years, and when I thought I was going to do it for life, it's the only thing I grew up wanting to do. And when we got pregnant with our oldest daughter, um, it was a 45 minute drive to and from work for a 12 and a half hour shift. And I thought as we were playing around with whether I was going to go part time or weekend option or working night shift, I thought regardless of when I work, I don't want to be away from her for that long. And so my husband and I, uh, we may not agree on much, but we definitely agreed that we didn't want to send our kids to daycare or be away from them for that long. So I quit and um, maternity pay ran out really quickly and our bills piled up even quicker. And um, yeah, so I saw an ad on Facebook for It Works and I had done cosmetics before and really thought hard about getting back into that. And something just told me that this was different, that my sisters, both of my sisters actually said, if you don't sell these wraps, we're going to go buy them from somebody else. And so I thought, well, at least I've got two customers, you know, and um, it just, something was bigger and different about this. And so I thought, you know, we were getting foreclosure notices on our house. And I thought if I can at least like buy groceries, that might free up some of my husband's money to go towards our mortgage. and. That's where we started. All right, so tell us what it felt like to be in foreclosure and with just without money. What was what's that type of feeling like? Um, embarrassing. I was um, like ranked at the top of my class and had a really great pay, like job before, and I just felt irresponsible. Like I felt. You know, as a mom, we don't feel guilty enough. And then I just felt guilty for, I would have felt guilty for leaving my kids to go to work. And then I felt guilty for quitting my job to stay home. And it's even still, like, it doesn't feel good to talk about, you know, that we were just, you know, drowning, suffocating in debt. You know, Jennifer, a lot of people in that situation can't ever see their way out or they or get so depressed they don't have the energy that it takes to build something like it works how did you come up out of that and just say this is it I'm going for it because obviously you have you're now presidential diamond in three years yeah um, we prayed a lot um, and I just couldn't I couldn't look at my kids and and picture someone else changing I could well we just had Hadley at the time and I just couldn't look at some like look at her and picture someone else changing her diaper or feeding her or teaching her to walk and missing those first moments um and oh gosh I'm sorry it looks like she's going to join us too um oh, that's okay everyone can join us <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so I I didn't and actually my husband didn't give me the choice because I had attempted a networking company in before and maybe maybe made my money back with that he said Jen if you're gonna do this like you have to do it because we can't afford for you not to do it and so 
All right, so how did you get started? What was the first couple of things that you did to jumpstart your business? I messaged everyone. I had to get that money back because we had paid bills late and Daniel and I weren't, ma or we were married, yes. I borrowed the money from him. I think we had separate accounts. And so I borrowed the money from him to start and I, I posted a before and after picture and then I messaged all of my friends. I thought if I can, you know, um, we talk about our hundreds list. I said, if I can talk to a hundred people, I can get four customers out of that. And so, um, that's how I started. Like, Hadley, stop that, please. Um, that's how I started was I just asked everyone, have you tried this? Yeah. Would you like to learn about it? And I got a lot of no's and a lot of people that ignored me. Um, actually, this is a funny story. I just messaged a girl the other day about something and looked back at our message feed. And the last message that I had sent her was three years ago that she ignored. <laughs> and, and <she> interesting. <laughs> you know, when you think about all the rejection that you get, you got a lot of rejection with this, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. How do you take that? A, a lot of people, I mean, they'll get one or two no's and they'll say, nobody wants this. And they've only talked to two people. How mm -hmm. do you overcome that? Um, I'm pretty, um, when you talk about personality colors, I, oh shoot, I am a pretty red personality. And so when they told me no, I thought, well, I'll prove them wrong. And so I just went to the next and went to the next and, um, and I celebrated publicly every yes, because I wanted to show the people who said no, that I could do this in spite of them. <laughs> All right, give us an aha moment that you've had throughout your three years. Oh my gosh. Many, but give us one. Yes. The latest I'm gonna give you the latest one. Be real quick. Um when I was sitting at conference, it was my first conference and I went as a triple, which is a little bit embarrassing to say that I hadn't been to a conference before that, but I went and I wore Reagan in a little, you know, mommy wrap thing. And I was sitting there and I was watching the Freedom Awards that were given to the people who had paid off like monumental debt. And I just had the most, like the biggest full circle moment remembering us like growing up. And when, like when your kids are eating, as kids, when you're eating peanut butter and jelly and macaroni and cheese, it's easy kid food. So you don't realize that it's because that's all you could afford. We grew up in a family with debt and that's all we knew. And then I was sitting there and I was holding her and I could just see like the struggle that my mom went through and where Daniel and I were headed before it works. And then like, a wide open future that didn't have to be um, like our past. And so I just could see where I came from, where I was and where we're headed for these girls and for our family that, you know, as it continues to grow. And I just, it was one of the first times, even as late in the game as a triple diamond, it was one of the first times that I felt like, all right, like I can do this, you know? Beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you all for joining us today. Your, your family is just beautiful. Thanks Thank for being on so today. Much. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take the call out to Sean and Kristen. Sean! Woo! Hey, Bye. how's it going? <laughs> you guys doing oh, all right? Thank you. Uh, well, I'm glad you stopped driving the car. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably a good idea. We got... Got the dog and the kids, so we decided to pull out and, and uh, hang out at the parking lot real quick. All right, so g give us a, a little history here. How uh, Introduce yourselves. Tell us yeah. where, you, where you live and how long you've been with That Works. Uh, I'm Kristen McLean. This is Sean McLean. We live in Destin, Florida, uh, which is really interesting because when we first started, we were uh, we lived in Birmingham, Alabama, and if it wasn't for It Works, um, we wouldn't we'd still be there. So um, we've been with it for what, uh, two years? All coming up on two years. Yeah. Yeah. Our coming up on two years. You know, Sean, we've seen your story quite a, a couple of times. You've had quite a story with the products. Can you tell, yes, tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, you know, when we first started doing this, for me personally, I wanted to not only do something that's going to help financially, but I mean, I wasn't in the greatest shape, you know, and I wanted to be a product of the product. And that's, that's what I preach to this day. So I, I started using the products that helped me in the gym. It helped me sleep better. 
I mean, you name it, you know, it, it helped. And it completely helped me change my lifestyle. So, you know, when I got to go on stage at Green Carpet, you know, it was, it was a blessing because, you know, it, so many people talk about the finances, but, you know, the products are what gets you the finances and the products are what help so many people, you know, and it's, it's just a blessing. So I, I was, I was a big believer. All right. So obviously you're, you're a couple working in this business. It, you know, it's Tuesday. What, what day is it? I'm sorry. It's Thursday, Thursday afternoon, and you're both running around with your kids. Uh, how yeah. does that happen for a couple? Oh, you know, I, today in one of our groups, I, I posted stuff about follow up Friday. I mean, I was all into it talking about following up with our customers and our potential distributors. And about 30 minutes later, you know, I went and checked all the notifications and everybody was like, yeah, Sean, today's Thursday. <laughs> Literally. I mean, you know, here's the deal. This, this opportunity allowed me in about 10 months to quit my job. And, you know, that was huge because I, I had something that I was, I was semi happy with, but at the same time, it was the grind, the nine to five, the get up, leave your family, you know, rat race. And I just, I got sick of it. I'll be 37 this summer. And I wanted, I wanted to be able to own my time and I was sick of living paycheck to paycheck. So being with my family now, it's great. I forget what day it is. And that's the way it should be. We don't know where, we don't know where we are. We're going back to Destin, but we don't have a schedule because, you know, we own, we own our time. All right. So t tell us as, as, as how, you, how you build the business together. Did you both start together or, or was one really yeah. more into it in the beginning? Go ahead. Um, well, at first, um, I was just in it for a, kind of like a hobby thing. Uh, I was happy with an extra $500. And if it worked, it worked. If it didn't, you know, oh, well, you know, like we say, we spend more at Target or, at, you know, the grocery store, you know, than we do what actually costs to sign up. So there was really no loss there for me. Um, and then well, we had it, to skip a bill to make yeah, it. Yeah, we did. We had to skip a bill to, to join. Wow. Um, but I was really skeptical at first. And, and he kind of showed me, how, you know, how the – the business part worked right. and I was just wearing it for like the body wraps. I want, I just had a baby. I wanted to get uh, back in you know shape. So um, it was a win-win. We both uh, just went in it and I kind of followed his lead. Yeah. And yeah. It, you know, our aha moment, we won't talk about it just yet, but I'll, I'll throw that out here in a minute. But you know, it was literally like everybody. We wanted to make that extra 500 bucks a month mm -hmm. because you know, it just, it would have helped. It helped. I mean, 300 helps people out of bankruptcy, you know, we weren't there, but we just, we were struggling. So for us building a business, sorry about the siren in the background. <laughs> we thought stepping outside I would mean, be quieter. <laughs> stepping outside is not easier. You want to jump in the car? Yeah. Let me jump in the car real quick. Um, let me jump in real quick. Sorry. So for us building the business, we, um, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> the life <laughs> for us building the business, you know, she stayed at home with the kids. I still had to work and I did this business for 10 straight months while I worked 45 hours a week. So my thing to tell everybody is if you're listening to this right now and you guys have a job, yes, you guys have to work 40 hours a week. Sometimes you got to work more. My advice is, is to pour every single second of your life that you are not working and spending time with your family into this business. I skipped TV. I skipped all the, you know, the junk that just consumes our lives that just dilutes our, our income. I think about it. All the things that people do every single day that have nothing to do with creating a better life, they're saturated with it. TV, you know, games, you know, all this stuff that's not helping you make extra money. And, and literally, I just put it all aside. And Kristen will tell you, I mean, I was on my phone all the time. But in the beginning, it was kind of frustrating. But guess what? You know, I told her, I said, look, this, this full year that we're working is going to help us get you know, out of this job. And then, you know, of course, after I quit my job, we moved to Destin, Florida, like two, two months later. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a team deal, especially if you're husband and wife, I encourage all the guys out there to get behind your wives. I think it's beautiful to work a business like this together, be able to travel together, be able to spend time with your kids. So, so guys, we're coming to a close on your segment here. Give us an aha moment. <laughs> Sorry, my son. <laughs> okay. We love our kids. Uh, okay. Our aha moment was, and Kristen will tell you right now. $2,000. It was, and I said, Chris, she wouldn't believe it for nothing that was, this was going to take off. It, it was all going to be a hobby. 
And, and I said, what is it going to take for you? And she said, when we make our first over $1,000 paycheck, and I said, okay, we went diamond in 90 days. And of course we won the $10,000 bonus back then. And when our paycheck came in, I was like, well, Hey, here it is. Are you, are you ready to get all in? And of course, you know, that was it for her. And, you know, we treat this like a business and I'm telling you guys, if you treat it like a business, you're going to get rewarded like a business sh should reward you. Another thing, like it's easy to forget, especially when you've been in it so long, you know, for two years. Um, I keep thinking, you know, sometimes I catch myself thinking that I've got to sign up, you know, 20 distributors and, and 20 loyal customers this, this month, but it's not true. If you just honestly follow the steps of success, yep, that's right. then you're going to grow, you know, you might not grow as fast as you want, but everybody's journey is different. And if you just continually stick hey. to that program, then, yep. <laughs> then it, it's going to happen. Well, you've got a beautiful family. Thank you for letting us Thank visit you. with you today. Congratulations on Thank everything, you so much. on your promotions, on your life. Thanks for joining in. Thank you, Pam. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's take the call out to Melanie. Melanie, how are you? Okay. Melanie did not join us today. All right. Let's see. We go to Brandy. Brandy, come on in. How are you? Hi, Pam. I'm good. How are you? I am fantastic. Welcome. Thank you. All right. So, Brandy, introduce yourself to everyone. Okay. I am Brandy Newhearth. I am from a small town in South Dakota called Redfield, South Dakota. You know, everyone's from a small town. <laughs> I, you know, we all are, really. At very, at most everyone. When, you, when people say small town, they automatically think, oh, I can't build this. I live in a small town. So the world is small itself today, isn't it? It sure is. <laughs> All right. So how long have you been on board? Um, it was four years, April 21st, but I've basically been working it for three years. Three. Did it take you a year to, to even think about getting started? What, what happened that first year? Um, actually, yeah, I, when I first got started, my upline signed me up and I'm kind of sporadic, so I didn't really know what I was getting into. I didn't even know anything about network marketing. I just seen her posting on Facebook about wraps and I was getting ready for my wedding. So I was in the gym and just trying to lose weight. So I've decided to try a wrap and she's like, oh, you should just sign up and join the team. And I didn't know what that meant, but I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? What got you going? Um, well, I did a she didn't even launch me someone else came and launched me and they were new and in the beginning I thought it was just about the wrap cash so I was really excited to make cash on hand so I did a couple parties the first um, couple months and made that wrap cash and I did not know about like going Ruby and that kind of stuff so I didn't really want distributors in my mind it was I don't want anyone else to sign up as a distributor because I want all that wrap cash. Ah. <laughs> okay, so when did the light bulb go off? Well, I actually ran my auto shipment because she told me I needed an auto shipment for um, about eight, nine months, and all my products went into a box. I didn't even use the products. And I got added to groups like we have nowadays, and I was in this group with Crystal Pearl, who is now my best friend, and she was talking about doing a, a task force about working her business, and she was talking about going to conference. So I started in April, and that was January, January when she was doing that. So I kind of sat on this until January, and I asked her if I could. I messaged her, and I said, hey, I don't know if I'm on your team, but I would really like to do this task force and work my business. Otherwise, I'm going to quit. <laughs> oh, so, wow. Wow. Yeah. Right, so what was life like for you four years ago? Um, I worked at a developmental center here in Redfield, and I just was not happy. I was a very negative person. I actually worked two jobs. I would bartend on the side and serve on the side and then work that job. And I was just never home. Uh, we were broke. We were on food stamps, uh, Medicaid, anything for assistance, you name it, and I was on it. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. And you think about today. So fast forward four years later, a lot of work went into this, didn't it? A lot. Yes. A lot. Did you have some heartache along the way? Did people disappoint you? Yes. Um, you think about it, like all my people who began with me in the beginning, um, not many are with me still. Um, you learn a lot as you go through and you build yourself up that way. So 
you, yeah, live and learn throughout it and just keep going. Do you think some people might have prejudged you in the beginning thinking, well, she's, she's working a couple jobs, she's broke, she's a bartender. Did, I mean, so give, give us some of those thoughts that might be going through your mind. Um, definitely people judge me. They, uh, they still do. <laughs> it's what it is in a small town, but I, I'm kind of like, um, Jennifer, I'm going to prove you wrong if you don't believe me. So I just had that in my mind and I just kept going. Well, the small town must know something big is going on in your life. Can they see a lifestyle change? Oh yeah, they see it. <laughs> um, I actually, my dad actually has a bar now in town and I will just help out there sometimes. So when I go in there, they're like, oh, I haven't seen you for a long time. I'm like, I know I was gone. I was just in Florida. I was just doing this. So, I mean, they see it, they know it and they still kind of make fun of me. <laughs> All right. So let me ask, do you have huge goals? I mean, are you just going to just like own the town one day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yes, I actually, I love little towns and my family lives here, but I actually, when my kids are graduated, I want to move to Florida. So that's my big goal. <laughs> I love this. You know, I, you know I, a lot of people saying a lot of negative things was a catalyst for me as well. And so now that you, you've got people that come on board, do you feel like you've become kinder to people? Do you feel like you've become more forgiving and more appreciative? Yes, definitely. I mean, you appreciate life a lot more now. Like I realized what it was my life, you know, four years ago was totally changed from what it is now. And, um, Life is just so different now. So, yeah, you learn to appreciate and forgive easily for when people still make fun of me. And it, it just goes in one year and out the other. You know, when you think about some of your friends in the four years that, that did not do this with you or maybe started and quit, their lives are very much the same, aren't they? They are, yes. Yeah. I've actually lost a lot of friends because I did this. Yeah. You, do you feel like now, I mean, the sky's the limit. You can travel anywhere you want. Obviously, your presidential dime and the average income there is, is very, very large. It's almost double-digit six-figure for the year. Plus, you earned $100,000, but good bonus. I mean, do you, do you, how does that feel for, for all of that to be happening? It's, it's kind of surreal because you come in from a small town and the way I grew up, I mean, I didn't have life like this. I'd never been on an airplane until I joined at work, so now I travel every month, and I absolutely love it. And my actual thing that really got me going is my kids. My daughter asked me um, a couple of years ago because she's seen other kids going to Disney World, and she really wanted to go to Disney World. And it broke my heart because I had to tell her that we couldn't afford to. But I just took my kids to Disney World in December, and... Life is just so amazing now. All right, so give us a, a typical day for you. Like, how do you, do you spend time on Instagram, Facebook? Do you rap, have rap parties? What's a great day for you? Um, I do. I built most of my business from social media. Being in a small town, people don't really agree with what I do. So I built a lot on social media. So I get up and I'm, I'm posting on social media. I'm working with my team. I have team all around the world. So I'm just there to help my team now. I want my team where I'm at. Okay. All right. So give us an aha moment. Um, aha moment was getting to a corporate event. I didn't have any team members my first 15 months in the business, and I went to St. Louis Boot Camp a few years ago. And my first night there is where I actually met my upline in person, and we went out to eat, and Mark and Cindy – came in and some other from corporate and they just gave us hugs and they don't act any different than us. They're just very down to earth and took pictures with us. And it was just, it was awesome. I love our corporate. All right. So everyone needs to get to corporate events. We've got a St. Louis it works you coming up. Will you be there? I will be there. Ah, I love it. All right. I'll see you on stage. I can't <laughs> Thanks for joining in. Thanks. Thank and congratulations, Brandy. So much. So Thank happy. You. Okay, let's take the call over to, let's see who, who Marina, Marina, did I say that right? Hey, hi. Hi, how are you? Fantastic, how are you? Good, we need to hear you better, you need to speak up. Oh, let me turn my volume up. Can you hear okay. me now? A uh, little bit better, a little bit more. I don't, it's totally up to the top. All right, then you're good. We're going to take you right there. All right, so introduce yourself to everyone. And where, where are you from? 
I'm Marina Winkler, and I live on Vancouver Island, British Columbia, in Canada. Welcome, Canada! Oh, I, I, you know, we have traveled to Canada every year. I absolutely love the country. We so appreciate everything that everyone is doing over there. Congratulations on your promotion to Presidential Diamond. You're really, you. you know, starting a new country for us. You've been open now for quite some time, but it is relatively unheard of in Canada. Are Canadians embracing us? <laughs> We're enjoying it. You're doing it. All right, so tell us, what were you doing before It Works? Um, well, I own um, a cleaning company, so that's what I was doing. Um, I own, I've had it for seven years, and basically that was, that was my why, was to be able to stop working. I've, always, I've had employees for years, so I just wanted to step back and let them um, sort of take control of the business, and I sort of work from home type of thing. Um, and luckily last November, I was able to um, stop working uh, the business and actually March 31st of this year, we actually closed the company. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Did you ever imagine that would happen? No, because, you know, we've only been with it works for 15 months. So this, it's just all happened so quickly and it's just been such a blessing and I, it, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed with, uh, I'm humbled basically. All right, so you know, because you're an, a, a, a Canadian country, a, a foreign country for us, and we are now in 20 countries, we just launched Austria. You, yeah. you do not have all the products that we have and a lot of people look at that and say, well, I don't have this, I don't have that. Obviously for you, you look at what you do have. Is that how you focus yourself and your business? Yeah, absolutely. And we know that, you know, those products are eventually going to come here. I remember watching you guys just drinking those energy drinks and I was so darn jealous. Well, you know, if you can kind of see behind me, I've got three cases of it here now. <laughs> <laughs> and, we love them. and, you know, and we know that the, we've just, we're waiting on the wow and uh, the cleanse, but they're going to come eventually. And we love watching our, uh, the United States um, having all these products. And you know what, the kind of a benefit of that is when they come to us, we're going to already know everything about it. Oh, I love your attitude. And it doesn't attitude play a lot in building this business. Absolutely. I think it's so important to be super positive. Um, that's something that was huge. You know, I was a high stress person. I still am. Um, Confianza definitely helps. But you know what? Building your team and being positive and moving forward positively, uh, you're not going to succeed if you're if you don't have the right attitude. Okay, so you look at it like 15 months ago, you've got another business you're running, you just closed that down this past March. How'd you find the time? That's where the no excuses comes in, right? You know, yeah. I would drive one job to the next uh, with my employees. I would sometimes have them drive my vehicle just so I could be making posts. Um, I would be cleaning a house and I would be like, lock myself in my client's bathrooms to just make a post. People make excuses, it's not okay. If I can do it, anyone can do it. We were planning our two weddings at the time as well, right when we joined the company. So we had a lot going on, but I wanted success more than I wanted, you know, to make an excuse. Okay, so what's a typical day like for you? Um, well, we, we do a lot of team meetings. So like even for instance today, as soon as I'm done this Zoom call, we've got a group of girls piling into my living room and we're just doing power hours all day long. So so I do that two to three times a week. We okay. do family picnics to get the families involved. So just really being interactive with your on, with your um in in your area group, and then I do online things all the time, checking in with my team constantly. So just being extremely active within your team. Okay, so we uh, when you say a power hour, give us an example of what takes place within that hour. So whether we're doing them online or whether we're doing them in my living room, um, it's going to be the same thing. So we'll start with one thing, um, adding 10, 20, 30 people to our friends list, um, building relationships online, talking, commenting with people, um, you know, and uh, letting your leaders know to message all of their leaders, uh, just basically different things within that hour uh, to build your success story. Okay. We follow the steps to success all throughout the world. Step one, join the party. Step two, gather four loyal customers. Step three, go Ruby. 
Are you also following those three simple steps? We love the steps to success. Um, you know, if we could double it each month, that's even better, if not more. But definitely just the baseline of the steps to success is all that's needed. And it is pretty simple. You just have to be out there actively wanting it. So you need to be talking to every darn person you see on the street. You know, I'm talking to uh, the gas station lady or, you know, someone, um, you know, who's serving us lunch, whatever. Beautiful. All right. I've asked everyone now, give us an aha moment. Uh, well, our aha moment was actually the cruise last year. Because when I first joined, they were just announcing the, cru the cruise points. So I earned a full cabin and I was so excited. Brought my husband, who was 100% unsupportive. <laughs> and he was not at all on board. So 10 months in, we get on this cruise. And we're hanging out with Joel and Stephanie Dunn um, upstairs. And then we're, he takes me downstairs into our cabin and he says to me, I can't believe this is real. I can't even believe this. And yeah. he goes, when we go home, I'm 100% on board. And that for us was the biggest change. We're now, we work together 100% on this business and we're just loving it. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much for being on with me today. Hang out for uh, just a little bit longer. I'm going to come right back to you. You bet. Thank you. All right. We have one more with us. Tay, how are you doing? Doing great, Sam. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for your patience today. Congratulations, Presidential Diamond. So, can you inter please introduce yourself to everyone and tell us how long you've been on board? Uh, hey, everyone. My name is uh, Martavius Young. I go by Tay. Uh, I've been on board. Um, I joined. I just hit my uh, two-year anniversary last month, uh, April first. All right, and I understand you uh, you have a wedding coming up. Is that right? Yes, I do. Uh, we actually had to change our wedding because we couldn't miss green carpet. So, it was <laughs> I, 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 Tay, I would call that all in. I would say you two are all in. You, you want to tell us who your future bride is? Uh, my future bride, my fiance. She's a uh, K Bauer. <laughs> Ambassador Diamond. All right. So, are you? You're such a power couple as well. Now, when you think about it works, and you go back two years ago, who did you discover it or did Carrie? Uh, Carrie actually discovered it. She actually, um, her cousin who's on the call with us now, Brandy, she bugged her for about six months. And, uh, when me and Carrie actually met is, uh, the day she moved to Texas, she, she decided to, uh, actually start working the business. And, um, by the time she, uh, got me to get on board with it, it was after a long time. She would go out to go on our dates and she would just pull out her bitch cards out of her person. I see these big wads of cash and I'm like, where is it coming from? But she always made me pay, so, but I would just see her with the cash, and she was having fun doing what she doing, so I knew it was something that uh, had a lot of opportunity, so I just supported her from the beginning. All right, so let me ask you this. How does a, um, when I go to meetings today, you know, 15 years ago when we discovered this product, there might be one man at a meeting, and the meetings were very small, and then, of course, over the course of years, now we have, I can see almost 30, 40, sometimes half the room has the guys in there. And uh, typically I say it's because of the commas in the check. That's when the guys really, really get on board. What, what did it take for you? And uh, of course you saw the rap cast, you talked about that, but to really engage and actually go out and talk to people on your own. Uh, for me, what it was was just following guys that um, yeah, look up on uh, social media. And so I just started following It Works guys. And I was just seeing the freedom and the fun that they were having. And that's what I wanted because I was a per professional indoor football player and I worked a full-time job. So I barely got to spend time with her. And I just really wanted the time. So it was more so the freedom. And I'm seeing these guys just having fun and they're doing everything that they love to do with their family and kids. And that just kind of sold me. So once I caught the vision after going to our second green carpet, I, I just decided, you know what? I'm just going to give it a give it a shot and just go all in. So I just retired from, from my job like maybe two or three days after I came back from green carpet. Wow. And so what's a day like for you? How do, how do you work this business? Uh, day like for me, as you see, I got my uh, my son's one cave. I actually spend I do most of the time. I give her all the time that she needs to build, build our business. But at the same time, as I'm keeping my son, I make sure I'm, I love to work Instagram. So I'm constantly posting uh following up with people. I actually had to uh, 
make a business decision to uh, unfollow Sean McClain because he was posting so much. So I'm like, I spent more time liking uh, his his post and actually posted on mine. So I got to step it up. So I just watching him. I was like, I should post more and I should tell my story more and just reach out to people. And that's when I really just decided to make a change and I start actually reaching out and not expecting people to reach out to me. You know, one of the things that we really teach here is just don't don't spam a lot of people. Don't just go out and you know, just start liking everything and saying, join my team, join my team, join my team. We really want to build friendships, don't we? Yes, we do. That's an important part. Like, yeah, if you ever talk to Carrie, she would say, I'm a super red and Tay's a super yellow. He would wait 30, 20 minutes for somebody to walk up to the door and he would hold it. But I just like to make sure uh, I build a relationship with people and just uh, find out what exactly do they want, what's, what's their needs for life, and just try to connect with them that way and relate. Because I feel like if I do that, then it'll open up a room for ghosts and they'll trust me for whatever I have to say or whatever I, I choose to do with them. All right, so how important, you know, you know we were just talking a little bit earlier about some spouses not being all in. How important is it for us just to kind of persuade, if not drag them to uh, It Works Green Carpet or It Works You or One Team, One Mission? Um, I feel like it's super important. Like with Carrie, she she started, she didn't ask me. She just kind of planted small seeds. So she just got this, uh, this one it works button. It was the uh, good get out of debt button. I had to wear it everywhere I went. So I wore it to work and I planted so many seeds. And slowly it was like after a couple months, she bought me a t-shirt and then she would get me the meeting. So she just slowly just kind of uh, incorporating the little things and it just kind of led. So I was like, you know what? This is actually something that, that I would love doing. And, and just over time, it just, I was like, you know what? I can't hide it anymore. I actually love this and I just want to go all in with you. So I think it's very important just kind of, uh, find the resources for them to uh, reach out to and just kind of ask the guys like, Hey, like, what is this real? Like, what can I do? Or how can I, what can I do to help to help her? So just reach out to people. All right. So how has life changed for you all financially? Man, it's been crazy. Uh, man, just maybe two years ago, I was, uh, I played professional indoor football. So I was just relying on food vouchers from the team. And then we were staying in our mom's um, basement, so it was it was bad. But you know, we just stayed humble and just continue just continue to uh, share the opportunity. And financially, I think we made over like four hundred and fifty thousand in bonuses. Like we built our brand new house, paid off our cars, we're debt free. But the most important part, uh, we just get to spend every day with our son and just travel the world together. Oh, what a beautiful life! All right, give us an aha moment. Uh, Mine was, it was a series of events. I feel like it was my wedding day with It Works. Uh, it was last year's green carpet. I went there and I just caught the vision. I knew this was for me. And like I said, I, two days later, I came back and I retired from my job. I rewired. And then I had my honeymoon when I went to the It Works uh, Men's Retreat. And I just met the top earners in the company. They were just so open. They was like real people just sharing their story. And I was like, man, this is this is where God wa wants me to be. And I just knew at that moment that I was in the perfect place at the right time. And uh, it just it just, just sealed the deal for me. And I just knew then this was meant for me. Uh, just put me on a bigger scale to help people and change lives. Oh, beautiful story. Thank you so much for joining us today. Congratulations on everything. Yeah. All right, everyone, please unmute. I want to thank each and every one of you for being on with me today. And so I'd like to take it back out to Jennifer. Jennifer, thank you and your kids for being so patient. Jennifer, how important is it for everyone to get on this cruise? That oh my we're on a Norwegian cruise, fifth largest ship. You know what? Like, no other job is going to offer this for you. Like, this is it's such an amazing opportunity. I didn't get to go last year because it fell on my due date with this one. But this year, Mama gets a break. And um, so, yeah, like it's it's just, it's unbelievable that that It Works provides opportunities for us like this. And you just aren't going to find it anywhere else. You got to take well, we advantage of it now. We can't wait to see you cruising. <laughs> yeah. Uh, snow room. I'll meet you in the snow room on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sean, you and Kristen. Hey, hey. looking forward hey. to the Oh, the cruise. Hey, listen, we were on the one in December, and if you guys thought the December cruise was awesome, this this ship, oof, I'm going to tell you right now, 
if, if everybody listening to this just buckles down, work on your customers, sign your distributors, get people to Ruby, repeat. Train your team to do the same thing. Three months, if you can do everything that you've ever wanted to work-wise, do it in the next 90 days, and you're going to be on that ship. You can it's, do it. And it's not just a cruise. I, I promise you, the most memorable life experiences I've ever had were made on that cruise yeah, awesome. and, or in Cozumel and yeah. friendships that are going to last forever. It's like family, and, and nothing else can replace that. Um, it's a magical experience, and it's so worth it. It's worth, it's worth all the hard work. And I mean, you can do it. It's so worth it. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Okay, let's take it over to uh, Brandy. Brandy, how important is it for the cruise? It's important. Um, we earned a full cabin last year, and it was so fun. Like the relationships that you build with everyone else, Sideline Sisters. Like I met some of my best friends out through this from Sideline Sisters, who we got paired with, and we just had a trip together last week. So. We have a lot of fun. You build a lot of relationships through it. So get on that cruise. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Marina, cruise. Are you excited? Yeah, I definitely have to agree with Brandy on that one. I met some of my best friends on that cruise. And, you know, coming from someone who was brand new in the company, anybody's game. It's anybody's game. Anybody can get on that cruise. Um, if I can, anyone can. And like I said, that's where my husband uh, made the decision that he was going to fall in. So you may have a partner that's unsupportive. Fight to get him on there or her, you know, and get them on that cruise. And you know what? They may change their game as well. Beautiful. All right. Tay, cruise. Are y'all going to be cruising? Uh, I'm going to be cruising. Last year was actually my first uh, cruise and to have it with my work son, it was awesome. So it's very important. And don't just uh, – Try to get you a spot. Try to work and get your spouse a spot. Because if you can get him on the cruise with other people, it would change his life like immediately. And he would just kind of, he'll be so close to like top line. <laughs> people like Sean, you would just bump shoulders with him, just be able to talk to him and see this is a real company and they love to have fun. Well, I can't wait to get cruising with all of you. Melanie, I know you just joined in. We are closing this call out. We're going to have you on another one and we're going to get right okay. back to you. Okay. Thanks for coming That's in. That's fine. But we've got another one right behind this. So we're going to get you next time. Thanks. For That's fine. Thank you, everybody. Congratulations again on your promotions to Presidential Diamond. Yeah. Loved hearing your stories. And I'll see you on one of my next wonderful travels. So good night, everyone. Thanks.